Hello and welcome back to another edition of the MCR. To my right is TJ and I'm Mac. We are the MCR and today we are going to get right into it and talk about uh, 2024 and uh, the distinct possibilities of recapturing the Senate. It's not that much of a lead. We only need three seats to get three seats. And there are highly contested seats out there. If we do that, we should almost certainly take the House by a larger majority. Of course, I'd like to see some of the rhinos run out, but I don't want to I don't want to have a Democrat. I don't want Chuck Schumer still running the show. Uh, but will it matter that much is my initial question about this. And I got some stats here. You know, they have Democrats have a 51 49 majority plus the tiebreaker with uh, Vice President Kamala Harris. Um, you know, you got three independents in there, but they caucus with the Democrats. Uh, there's always the possibility that uh, if they run somebody really far left, Joe Manchin might flip. So that would be one of the three seats guaranteed because he looks like he's got somewhat of a commanding lead right now. I want to say it is like 52, 32. Obviously, there's some independents there that aren't uh, that aren't telling us what we want to know. Um, any thoughts so far about that? Whether well, it matter know, or not? Let, let's just start with Manchin. What is going on with those people? And was that Virginia or West Virginia? I forget. It's 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 uh, West Virginia. <laughs> it was West Virginia. What is going on with those people? I mean, you know, I, I understand he's he's been there for decades and. Why these people love him is I don't I don't understand it. I I would need a local from that area to explain it to me. Why? Well, they're you know? poor. That's a poor state. You and I have a mutual friend. They're, who lives they're, there. they're voting for a guy who sides with the very party that is hurting their state financially. Yeah, and, and I keeps, don't and, keeps and I don't poor. get it. And I don't well, get it. We we might conclude perhaps due to a lack of a, any kind of education, because they're probably getting a leftist education. So that would explain why they have no sense. Um, as, as the people in Michigan seem to have no sense electing. Uh, people that hurt the auto industry. Yeah. They, they, and you know what? In the auto industry, the union anyway, backs them. Yep. Yep. Because backs it's not them. really about protecting the workers. It's really about getting it, putting money in their coffers to, money launder with the Democrats on, which we've been saying for decades. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so right now we got Kristen Cinema in Arizona. Uh, now she's left the Democrat Party, but she's an independent, so she caucuses with them. So independent, Democrat, does, if you're going to caucus with them, that's really all that matters. That's right. Uh, I believe Mitt Romney's seat is up, and I do believe they are going to replace him, and I do believe they are going to replace him with a conservative. After no, what's need going to. on there. They need to. Yeah, that would. Uh, I think he's going to. No, go that alone that. would make the party stronger. Absolutely. Uh, but again, we go back to Mitch McConnell, who makes it weaker because he supports uh, re fake Republicans like Susan Collins and Lisa Murkowski. Uh, Lisa Murkowski must do his bidding. Uh, and that's the only reason he sent. He took money away from conservatives and gave it to her. <clears throat> In and I'm going to keep beating a drum with uh, regarding Lisa Murkowski. The only reason why she's a senator right now is because she won that right in years ago when she was primaried out. She was primaried out and then she ran as an independent right in and won. And it just it, it that that whole thing sucks. You know? Yeah. Actually, let me correct something I said earlier. Jim Justice is running against Joe Manchin and. Uh, in a poll in May, uh, Justice was leading Manchin 54 to 32 in a hypothetical matchup. So I actually had that backwards. Apologies there. So the, he's vulnerable, it sounds like. Uh, the Democrats will be defending 23 seats in, in 24 compared to 10 for Republicans. In addition, there's a special election uh, for the seat occupied by Nebraska Senator Pete Ricketts, who was appointed to take over. Uh, for uh, the seat of Ben Sass, who was a backstabbing piece of shit, 
uh, voted for Trump's impeachment, I do believe. And, and in Michigan, more locally, we have Senator Debbie Stabenow, or we affectionately call her Stab You Now, because she's stabbing us in the back because she's got her head so far up Chuck Schumer's ass, she can't see daylight. Uh, she's uh, Alyssa Slotkin, who happens to be my representative in the 7th Congressional District. Uh, she's she's a plant by Nancy Pelosi. Uh, she doesn't care about people in Michigan. She said so on Bill Maher. She doesn't care if, if the people of Michigan pay big money for all of these uh, people they have in universities who are what, uh, diversity directors. Because Bill Maher was saying, hey, isn't this becoming like a cottage industry? You know, the University of Michigan's got like 128 diversity people. And she said she didn't give a damn if there were a million of them. I'm, I'm paraphrasing. Don't quote me on that. But it, that was the point. She didn't care how many there were. I don't care, she said. So she doesn't care about how much money uh, she spends of, our, of ours and how much less we have to live our lives in the pursuit of happiness as long as she gets her diversity bullshit pushed through. And uh, maybe that'll be uh, stunted a little bit by the recent Supreme Court decision on affirmative action and how universities cannot pick people. Well, let's just put it out there. They cannot pick people because of their color of their skin or their uh, past grievances Yada, yada, yada. So they say that, uh, obviously, Michigan leans Democrat because uh, she's got like two point million bucks. But the, the candidate, the proposed candidate against her right now is Chief Craig, who got shot down by our uh, attorney general, Jocelyn Benson, because she didn't validate her his signatures. And you know what? Who even knows if she even looked at him? Because she's a crook, too, just like Whitmer and Nessel. So is he even going to have a fair shot? To get on the ballot. Here's 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 my concern, and, and we're you know to the 2024 election. Uh, when I saw the results of 2022, everyone had much higher hopes. Is the same thing going to happen in 2024? Is what I'm trying to say. Well, a key you know? race. Uh, there's a key race uh, coming up in in Pennsylvania as well, where they have former hedge fund CEO who lost to uh, lost by according to this article who lost by a razor-thin margin to Mehmet Oz, who was no Republican either, in the 22 Republican primary is likely to challenge Casey, the current senator. So there, there's a chance to pick up a seat there, which would be absolutely huge to win one in, in what's been uh, an uh, electoral anomaly-filled state as such as uh, Pennsylvania, which is run by, as you like to pound this drum, but run by two state, or two cities, Philadelphia and Pittsburgh, and damn the rest of the state. Yeah, uh, so, with help from Lake, uh, from Lake, with help from the, the city of Erie, also. So that's that's the long and the short of it for this video. So if you have anything, if you, unless you have anything to add, I just wanted to throw this out for food for thought. Please comment if you're interested at all. Uh, don't if you're not interested, don't comment. Uh, I don't need to hear a bunch of hate-filled stupidity from people. But we need to keep the House and we need to take the Senate. And if these past year and a half or so has been evidence of that necessity, you know, then nothing's going to wake the public up. Well, we need know? to have Tim Scott as the majority leader if he is not elected president, and I don't <clears throat> expect he will be. And, and I also have concerns with what's being now termed as the uniparty, which is basically like saying Rhino's siding with the Democrats. You to know? stop conservatives. Yeah, you exactly. You have Republicans out trying to stop conservatives, they need to be called out, and we'll do that, and we need to do everything we can to defeat them, which means reaching into your pocket and giving to those candidates. Do not give it to the Republican Party. Ronald McDaniel will make sure it goes to Mitch McConnell, who will distribute it among the other Uniparty members. All right. That's all I got. With that, with that we'll wrap it up with uh, be safe, watch your six, and don't tread on me. See you.